What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. We're going to do a little bit of cooking. So anybody that's watched any of my videos knows I talk about not necessarily being a, a fan of eating fish. And so I've been asked to do a video on how I prepare everything. So that way I can stand to eat it. And I'm sure this probably applies to most people that's not a real big fan. Hopefully this process will kind of help you out a little bit of to lessen the taste of fish. Maybe sometimes I've even had it where you can't taste it at all. So without further ado, the fish I'm doing today is going to be some black drum and some trout. Um, now, anytime I've been out fishing and caught stuff that I said I was going to bring home, everybody's always heard me say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bleed it out and get it on ice. I think that's probably the, the main step to any of this to help lessen the gamey taste that fish can possibly have and especially if you're going to freeze fish getting any of that blood out of there as soon as possible is probably about the most important thing you can do um, number one it's more humane for the fish to be processed that way dispatched whatever you want to say um, and then it will help pretty much with your meat um, because that's what's always the bad flavor of whether it's fish, it's deer, anything like that that you process yourself. You want that blood out of there. So first thing I do is make sure I bleed it out really well while I'm on the water. Ice it down really well. And then obviously come home, get everything flayed up. Ain't all that great of flaying fish. So I didn't show that on camera because, uh, you know, I guess that would be a pretty good comedy special to show you something like that but uh, i think there was no point of wasting your time or mine of showing you how i fillet a fish there's a million videos out there to show you how to do it it's a heck of a lot better than what i am the next step i do in the whole process of any of it is i will soak my fish um now i know some people will do it in milk or buttermilk stuff like that You've heard me talk on here before. I'm cheap, I ain't doing none of that. I'm not paying for that stuff. So I just take, after I get everything flayed out, I'll put it in a little Tupperware container with just regular tap water. What I'll do is let it set in there for the first time, probably about three or four hours. Try to get as much of that blood out as what you can see in the water. Then what you wanna do is keep changing that water out um, the more that you can change it out the better it is I usually try to soak my fish for about a day or two but more so of changing the water out somewhere around three times until you can see that water go clear it's still pulling that blood out of your meat so however long that takes so if you bleed your fish on the water it should speed that process up if you don't bleed your fish out, then it will make that process go a heck of a lot slower. So however you do it, that's up to you. It's just the way I do it to help me with the taste and everything like that. And also, I know a lot of people do not like to freeze fish. I've never eaten a fish really fresh. Um, I pretty much freeze everything. Whether that's pretty much the main ones that I have done this whole recipe with is trout, redfish, flounder, black drum, and crappy. So I know it works for all those fish, which all those are pretty much white meat fish anyway. But um, with doing this, like whenever I'm done soaking it, I don't dry my fish out. I let it stay in that water and then that way it helps um, keep some moisture in whenever I am packaging it up. And what I do is I just vacuum seal all my meat and then put dates on it and all that. So that way I know I'm keeping some fairly, I'm eating the older stuff first, you know what I mean? So just making sure I'm not, not eating the newer stuff before the old, I don't want, I don't want to kill anything that would ever go to waste or anything like that. But with freezing fish, it can be a little nasty at times, but with doing it this way, 
recently I just had crappy that was dated from almost a year ago and never had an issue with it. So, so far in everything I've done, everything has turned out well and hopefully it stays that way. But as you can see here, I just cut little my fish into little chunks. You can do as big or as small as you want. I prefer a little bit smaller just because then I get more seasoning on it, which helps me lessen the flavor of it. So let's get into our seat. So now that I got all my fish cut up, what I'll do is I'll just give me a Ziploc bag so I ain't dirtying up dishes and making the wife all mad and all that because, you know, I ain't that good at cleaning. So, but I just do a small bit of, these are Italian style panko breadcrumbs. And then we've got a local seasoning. It's called ship wrecked, ship wrecked seasonings. And this is the captain's blend. Um, we buy this down here at, like our farmer's market. And I know there's some stores in the whole Cape Fear area that sells this stuff, but this stuff's delicious. They got a bunch of different flavors, but I really like this one on fish. And then everybody knows you gotta have a little bit of Tony's on here. I try not to go too heavy with this because the wife doesn't like anything spicy. So that way, um, you know, it's not too terrible. And I just try to eyeball this stuff. I don't, I'm like probably a lot of dudes, I don't measure nothing. But now comes where like, it's there's such small pieces of meat. I don't do the like egg wash and all that stuff because small pieces of meat, you start egg washing them and dipping them in your seasoning and all that. Now all you've got is just a giant ball of deep fried seasoning, which I mean, don't get me wrong. Well, if I got it, it sounds delicious. Still want to have a little bit of fish in here. Um, so I don't do the egg wash. As you can tell, the fish is already kind of damp anyway. So that will help seasoning stick to it. But it doesn't become overwhelming and that you're going to have too much seasoning. Or I should say breadcrumbs more than seasoning. That's, that's my biggest thing is... I've tried fish before to where I might as well just ate some breadcrumbs deep fried and done it that way. But at the end, it really does not take a whole lot. Like I said, this is a quick, easy, simple recipe. Um, as you can tell here, I mean, you can see how well this stuff sticks to it. So it's not overwhelming, but it's still a, a pretty fair amount of breadcrumbs and all your seasoning on it. Got the deep fryer over here, all heated up. Nothing special on this thing, man. Everybody knows how a deep fryer works. You could do this in a skillet if you wanted to. I mean, that pretty much comes any way that you kind of want to cook it. Um, I prefer it this way just because it's easier. And, you know, I mean, who doesn't love stuff that's deep fried? So, but quick it's easy unhealthy for you and that tastes delicious and I ain't too much of one of these people oh well, you gotta do crap a certain way or whatever look I throw everything in it all cooks sometimes it'll take a little bit longer like this I'm probably putting in a little more than what I should but it'll cook it'll be all right All right, so we'll get that in and I'll meet you back when it's... So now that the fish is done, I'm making tacos tonight. So first thing I'm gonna do, get my little soft shell taco, throw it in the microwave for 10 seconds, something like that, that way. Just help keep it nice and loose in there. Get this stuff drained off as much as we can. y'all the first look at it here so here you go this is what it looks like just small little pieces oh man i shouldn't know that was gonna be hot as crap but you can see not too much breading on it that way you still get some good fish flavor um and honestly with preparing it like this like this would make like a great appetizer you could do 
po' boys with this. Get you some sub buns. You know, you could just throw it on a slice of white bread and do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, but cutting it down like this helps lessen the fishy flavor in it. Soaking it helps out so much, regardless of whether you're eating it fresh or not. I, I personally feel you need to bleed your fish immediately and get them, them dispatched as soon as you catch them and you know you're going to keep it. The rest of this stuff is just all by preference, but I love me some tacos. I mean, who the heck doesn't? And honestly, I'm a very simple taco guy. So like today, I am just doing lettuce, cheese, and some Chipotle ranch. Um, I know there's people that go pretty hardcore on their tacos of, you know, you can do mango salsa, um, you know, avocado, that type of stuff. Not me, I'm not that type of guy. Even with regular tacos, not just fish tacos, I'm usually pretty simple. We, I always like onions on there, which I thought we had some and we don't. So I gotta go without that today, but that'd be all right, no big deal. As you see, put as much fish as you want on there. A little ranch, Chipotle ranch at that. Get you, get you a little spice to it, some cheese, a little bit of lettuce. So there you go. I mean, that's about as simple as you can possibly get. It's a nice, great, easy meal, especially like for me. Like I said, I'm not a big fish eater, but this definitely does it. The wife loves it. Um, I'm gonna let that cool off for a second. Yeah, we're going for it. Let's go. Heck yeah. That's good stuff right there. Got some good flavor. The Tony's gives it that little, little bit of a kick, but would not put much in it. Definitely helps. And you got to watch with that stuff. Donators will be very salty. So def definitely watch how far you go with it. That's shipwreck seasoning. That stuff's awesome. I love that stuff. I'll put it in everything anymore. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Hopefully you liked what you've seen. Give you some ideas. If this is stuff that you guys do like seeing, let me know. Let me know down below if there's some recipes you want me to try that you think I would like being a non-fish eater. I know my wife will love it pretty much regardless. It's a matter of whether I do or not. So if you got any ideas of what you want to see as far as me trying something different or whatever, just put it down below and uh, whenever I get something, I'll put them out there for you. So appreciate you watching and until the next one, remember it's nice to be important, more important to be nice.